Okay, so um, today we're going to go over how to do vibes and decimals. So here are some practice problems. Um, we'll start with this first one. We have 1,995 ten-thousandths divided by seven-tenths. If you would see this problem written a different way, it would be written like this. Notice that the first number goes on the inside, second number on the outside. Now, the first thing that we need to do is check the number that's on the outside. Is it a whole number? If not, we're going to move it until it is. So that 7, um, 0 0.7 becomes a 7. And then, whatever we do to the outside, we need to do to the inside. So, the 1,995 ten thousandths becomes one and nine hundred ninety five thousandths. So we're going to set it up just like that. Now we can divide just like we normally will. Um, we can ignore the decimals, but the decimal is going to go straight above wherever we put it in the problem. So after we moved it, it goes just straight up. So seven. Does seven go into one? No. Does it go into 19? Yes, it does. It goes into 19 twice. Two times, nine, two times seven is 14. 19 minus 14 is five left over. All right, so now we're gonna bring that down. So we are not done. Does seven go into 59? Yes, it does. It goes in. 8 times. 7 times 8 is 56. All right, and we 56 minus, 59 minus 56, excuse me, um, and we're left with 3. So that's done. Bring down the 5. Does 7 go into 35? Yes, 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35, and we are left with 0. So our answer is 285 thousands. All right, let's do another example. All right, again, we are going to look um, at the number on the outside, and if we were to see this written a different way, it would look like this. So if you're looking at how to set it up, this is what it should look like. Um, so let's go ahead and move that decimal one place. And we're going to rewrite this as 3 on the outside and 2.4 on the inside. Since we moved it once to make uh, 3 tenths a whole number, we move it once to make 24 hundredths into 2 and 4 tenths. So now, looking does, don't forget to move my decimal up. Um, does 3 go into 2? No, it does not. Does it go into 24? Yes. 8 times, 8 times 3 is 24 exactly, we are left with 0. So there is our answer there. Alright, here is a trickier one. Um, this one, if we take a look, um, notice that this decimal needs to be moved not once but twice, which means that this one needs to be moved twice as well. So we have... Um, 364 on the outside. And it's really nice to do these types of problems in, on graph paper or grid paper because it helps to keep the numbers lined up really nicely. And then this number became 2,853 and 7,600. So does, don't want to forget my decimal, does 364 go into 2? No. Does it go into 8? 28? No. Does it go into 285? No. Does it go into 364? Yes, it does. So I'm not sure how many times the 364 goes into 2,853, 
but I'm going to guess somewhere I'll guess somewhere around seven times. So I'm going to do 364 times seven just to see where that gets me. Seven times four is 28. Seven times six, oops, sorry, put the two up. Seven times six is 42 plus two is 44. The four up. Seven times three is 21 plus four is 25. All right. So, I have 2,548. If I add another 364, let's see where that gets me. 2, 11, 9, and 2. Okay, so that's too big, so it is only the 7 times. So, 364 times 7 is 2,548. Now, I'm going to subtract. Now I can't subtract that one, so I'm going to borrow... 13 minus 8 is 5, 4 minus 4 is 0, 8 minus 5 is 3, 2 minus 2 is 0. Alright, now I'm going to bring down my 7. Does 364 go into 3057? Yes, it does. Um, I know that 364 times 8 is that 2000. 912, and I know I can't add another 364, so it goes in eight times. And I'm going to subtract my 2912. And I'm left with 145. So now I'm going to bring down that six. All right. Does 3,064 go into 1,456. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and guess three times. Three times six is 18 plus one is 19. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. So that's 1,092. I think I can get another 364 in there. Let's try. Yes. So, I guess three, I was one off, so it is four, and that was 1,456 exactly. I subtract and I get zero. So I am left with that seven and 84 hundredths. All right. I hope that helps. Those are just a few types of examples for dividing fractions, dividing decimals.